So today I'm talking about the White Fox Eclipse. Let me start by saying that I am not involved in any way with this keyboard, despite being the designer in 2016 of the original White Fox. So uh, a little bit of history for the newcomers. Once upon a time there was the White now, actually, before that, there was the Brown Fox. Uh, the Brown Fox is a custom keyboard I hand-wired back in 2013. 65% keyboards were not a thing back then, so I had to build my own. Um, for the keycaps, I used DSA Retro, which is a brown set, uh, therefore the very little imaginative Brown Fox name. At the time, I also had a bunch of white Alps keycaps, so I started designing an Alps version of the Brown Fox, and being the keycaps white, uh, the name was, yes, you guess it, White Fox. The Alps keyboards never came to life, but together with Mass Drop, Now Drop, and Input Club, uh, we decided to release the White Fox, uh, basically the keyboard that uh, kickstarted the 65% uh, mania. Uh, the White Fox was initially a kit, and many of the design choices were taken to first of all uh, keep the price down, but also to make an easily uh, hackerable uh, product. In fact, the keyboard came with seven different plates and you could laser cut your own if you wanted and the project was open and completely open sourced. So, back to 2022. Uh, Input Club started working on a new White Fox and then they handed the project over to Alpaca Keyboards uh, I guess they wanted to keep the White Fox legacy and build something new on it. But again, I am not involved with this project. I haven't seen the keyboard until the few weeks ago, uh, when they actually presented the, the, the product to the, to the public. Now, I have nothing against them using the White Fox brand, but I asked if they could at least send me a sample uh, for review, and here it is. This is still an early prototype, it is 3D printed, and I bet many things will uh, change, but I think it's enough to get a glimpse of what the Eclipse will be. As far as I understand, it will be a plastic keyboard with an optional aluminium case, it's Bluetooth and RGB, and I believe the backlight works also in wireless mode. I don't have a battery here now, so I cannot tell. It looks nice, if not a bit dated, and it's very white. I don't know if the legends are final, but they are a little inconsistent to me. The symbols are really too small, and the right hand modifiers are aligned to the right, the left hand to the left, but then you have uh, page up, page down, home, and they are in the middle, uh, otherwise they are all in the middle, included the, the pipe and the backslash. I don't know, it's, uh, it's a bit weird, but it's the design choice. If you look closely, uh, you'll notice that there are no screws anywhere. That's because everything is held together with magnets. You can see them here and they are paired on the bottom of the case and uh, yeah, protected with some uh, silicone padding. And there is a lot of foam both on the bottom of the case and between the plate and the PCB. I also see hot swap switches. 
a lot of RGB LEDs both for the switches and here and this one are for the underglow there are also three grooves in the middle of the PCB for added flexibility and all this element together should grant a very soft and pleasant typing experience. I'll make a sound test but I don't think it will be representative of the final product being this all 3D printed. Also I'm not sure if this will be the switches that the keyboard will come with uh, but they are hot swap so I guess they will offer multiple options. Anyway, let's hear it. Overall, the sound is muted and soft, but a bit plasticky. Uh, it might be because of the 3D printed case, uh, we don't know yet. Uh, the stabilizers are a bit too noisy compared to the one unit. Uh, I believe these are Duroc stabilizers, but I don't know what stabilizer will be used in the final product. But yeah, mm, all in all it feels mm, decent. So who is this for? Uh, it's a kind of weird product. It has some nice ideas, but honestly, I don't know why they wanted to keep the White Fox design, which is a bit uh, outdated by today's standards. Um, it is a keyboard I would probably recommend to normies. A few months ago, I reviewed a Logitech low-profile keyboard that costs uh, more or less the same, but it is a really, really terrible product and um, I think that the target is probably the same but uh, this one feels a lot better. It has an open source uh, firmware, uh, you can change the switches, you can change the keycaps, you can customize the layout and it's fully RGB if you are in that kind of things. It's nothing to scream about, but I can't find anything wrong with it. Uh, I believe uh, the retail cost will be uh, 180 US dollars. Uh, I mean, if it costed 20 dollars less, it would be a great buy. At that price point, you really need to like the layout and the design. But as I said, between uh, this one and the Logitech Mechanical MX, this one is an order of magnitude better. That's all I have for now. If I will ever get a final sample, I will make a full review. Uh, this video is mostly to set uh, the record straight and tell you that I am not responsible for this product. See you next time. Ciao.